Hello, have you recently been struggling because you found an old tutorial for Minecraft Bedrock Edition commands and it just no longer works? Maybe it's one of my tutorials. Maybe you're going through your old commands that have the XU command in them and they just don't work. Well, that's because Mojang recently, in one of their updates, changed the XQ command. So if you're using a tutorial that's older than a few months or even a few weeks and has these words in it, it probably doesn't work anymore. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you a simple formula you can use that's going to make any XQ commands that used to be working but no longer is. I'm going to show you how to make it work with the new format. So for the first example right here, I have the old version and the new version. Now the first thing that people who are experiencing commands are going to say is the new version is much more complicated than it needs to be. And that is correct. I'm just going to be showing a simple formula that's going to work for any command. So this little bit is longer than it needs to be, but that's just so that it's consistent and that this little formula is going to work for any command you do. So in the old version, we just have execute at A, and then we have some tildes. Those tildes represent coordinates. And then the command, which is say, and then hi. Just this command makes a player say hi. So in the new version, we have execute, and then we have as and at A. So it's important to note the at A is the same as the at A above. We just put as in front of it. Then we put at, and then we do at S. And this is completely new, and this is going to be the same in everything, every single one. I'm going to show you the formula in a little bit after I show you some examples. But you're always going to have the at S after the as, and then whatever this might be. This can change. But you're always going to have at, at S. Then you're going to have the word positions, and then you're going to have these three tildes. So up above, we have three tildes, so we're copying those tildes down. That's why we have three. This is probably going to make a little more sense once I show you the formula. And then we have the word run, and then the rest of the command. So just to show you guys another example real quick. In the old one, this is a bit of a bigger command. But at the top, we have execute at a tag equals particle. And then we have tilde tilde 2. Then we have a particle command. So in the new version, what we're going to do is execute, and then we're going to do as. And then see how we have at a and then tag equals particle. See how that's the same as what's above? We always want to copy that exactly how it is. Then we're going to do at and then at s again, just exactly those four characters. You don't want to change that. And then we have positions, and then we have tilde tilde 2, and then another tilde. It's exactly the same as it is above. We want to keep it exactly the same as what you're copying it from, and then run. And then you have the rest of the command right here. So I'm going to show you the formula, then I'll go back to these examples, and hopefully they're going to make a little bit more sense. Okay, so for this formula, the very start, you see we have execute, and then we have copy one, and then copy two. So in the new formula, you want to plug it in exactly how it is here. Execute, and then we have as, and then you're going to copy whatever you had in copy one, copy it and put it right here. Then we have at s, then we have the word positioned, then we have copy two. So whatever you had a copy two, up above, you want to put a copy two down below. Then we have the word run, and then these dots just represent whatever command's following it. So this formula should likely work for nearly any command. So anytime you're going through and you have an old command, whether it's a tutorial, something you made, something someone else made, it doesn't matter. If it's the old version of execute and it's no longer working, you should be able to plug it into this new formula and it should start working again. Now, if the command has the word detect in it, you're going to have to use a slightly different formula. So right here, here's the first example. This is a similar command. It's executing at E with tag equals dirt. And then we're going to have the tildes. Then we have the word detect. Then we have two tildes, a negative one, and then another tilde. Then dirt zero. And then it's going to say the new command, which is say hi. So in the new example, we're going to be copying down at E tag equals dirt again. We have at S. And then we have position. This stuff is all the same up till this point. It's all the same. Then once we hit the detect, Instead, we're going to say if block, and then we're going to have these little tildes, and then the block, and then the number. And then after that, we have the word run, which represents the end of the execute command, and then the rest of the command. So looking at the formula real quick, it's very similar. Up to this point, it's exactly the same as the old formula. However, instead of detect, you're going to put if block. Then you're going to put copy three. So whatever is in copy three on the original command, put it into this section and then run to end the command instead of just a blank like in the old version. You always got to put run at the end of the new execute. 
So I'm going to go back through all the examples again, show you the formula each one more time, and hopefully you guys will be able to turn any of your commands that you see into the new version. So once again, you see we have the execute, we have add A, we have coordinates. The add A gets moved down here. The tildes, the coordinates, they get moved right here. And these can be actual numbers. These are coordinates, could be tildes or it could be numbers. It kind of depends on the command, but no matter what, you're going to want it right here after the word is positioned. I'm going to show the example two again. So like I said, we're copying this, this little part, the add A, tag equals particle, copying that from above. We're putting it after the word as, then we have at, and then we have at s, and then we have the word positioned, and then once again, here's the part we're copying down again. This is the little coordinates. Then we have run, which is also new. We're adding that to end the execute command, and then whatever the rest of the command is after that point. So I'm going to once again show you the formula. Execute, we have first copy, we put it right here after the as, we put at s, we put positioned, then we put copy two. That's going to be whatever coordinates or numbers you have. Then we end the command by saying run. Now, if the old command had the word detect in it, I'm going to go through here, copy it. It's exactly the same up to this point. And then when you hit detect, instead of detect, you put if block. That's basically all you're doing is you're replacing the word detect with if and then block. And then it's going to be exactly the same. And then we end the command with the word run. So I'm going to show you the formula one more time execute as we put the first copy at s positions put the second copy of the coordinates then if block and then copy three and copy three is whatever's after the word detect all right hopefully that's going to help you guys a lot in converting the old execute to the new execute like i said this is more complicated than it does need to be for some of these commands such as this one I understand that if you guys are once you guys get a little more used to execute command you're going to be able to trim this down make it a little simpler it doesn't have to be as long this formula is designed to work for any type of command which is why it's longer than it needs to be if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments however i also recommend joining our discord there's a lot of people on there that can help just besides me it's a lot easier to respond to you guys if you join the discord but it's not mandatory i will try to reply to the comments all right, if this was helpful, then good, and hope you guys enjoyed.